Chapter 8 After taking the last train ride of their trip, Lisa, Hu Tian, and Mei arrive in Hong Kong. I can already tell that Hong Kong is different from any of the other places we've been to. The cars are driving on the left side of the road, Lisa says, during their taxi ride to the hotel. That's not the only difference, Mei tells Lisa. The people here speak Cantonese. It is different from Mandarin Chinese, but they also have much in common. Tell me some more about Hong Kong, asks Lisa. I don't really know much. Well, it is one of the most populated places in the world with an amazing culture. Hong Kong's landscape is also unique. There are hills and tall mountains, parks and nature reserves, and there are about 200 offshore islands. Visitors have a lot to do here. Just wait and see, May says. After leaving their luggage in their hotel rooms, they head to the peak tram. It takes them up to the peak, the top of one of the nearby mountains, 396 meters above sea level. The view from the top of the peak tower is breathtaking. Hong Kong's skyline is very impressive, as you can see. There are more than 7,600 skyscrapers, but that's not what makes the place so special, May says. Yes, it is a great mixture of amazing buildings and beautiful landscape. The view is fantastic from up here, replies Lisa enthusiastically. Let me take your photo. The light is wonderful right now, she tells her friends as she reaches in her pocket for her camera. This picture will be suitable for the next photo convention, she says and smiles.